Hi guys, it's Room, it's room and the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question number 316 on exam P on the SLA website. So, pause the video real quick and try to solve this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. So, let X be the annual number of hurricanes hitting Florida, and let Y be the annual number of hurricanes hitting Texas. X and Y are, let's just say, independent Poisson distributions or Poisson variables with respective means 1.7 and 2.3. So, X is Poisson with 1.7, mu equals 1.7, and Y is Poisson with mu equal to, with mean equal to, 2.3. Okay, so calculate the variance that x minus y given x plus y equals 3. Okay, well, this is, we have to also remember that the Poisson distributions are discrete, so it can't, although the mean can be like 1.2, the actual value can't be 1.2, it has to be a whole number, like 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, blah, blah. And then they give you the condition right here, x plus y has to equal 3. So that means that we actually are pretty limited in our options. So Because, for example, if x is equal to 0, then y can only be equal to 3. If x is equal to 1, it has to be equal to 2, and so on, so on. What am I doing? Here we go. Um, I think the easiest way to find this is to do it the find the expectation, the second expectation, second moment, and then find expectation and subtract them, squared. So I think that's the way I'm going to go with this problem. Yeah. So let's just dive right in. So we also first need to find, because of that we have to find expectation, so we need a prob we need our probability for these. So what is the probability that x is going to be 0 and y is going to be 3? Well, the probability for Poisson distribution is equal to e to the negative lambda, lambda to the k, over k factorial, given this is the probability that x is equal to k. It's, and k is the number of success. So for this one, the first one, this is basically saying e to the negative lambda, that's e to the negative lambda, negative 1.7, lambda to the k, that's 1.7 to the k, which is just 0, so this becomes just 1. 1 over 0 factorial, that's just 1 times, because we, we know this is in independent variables, times lambda, or e to the negative, 2.3, um, 2.3 to the third power, because this is 3 successes, over 3 factorial. Well, I don't think I left enough room, but <laughs> yeah, let me move this down. So this is 1. It could either be 1 and 2, so that's e to the negative 1.7, 1 1.7 1 .7 to the first over 1 factorial times e to the negative 2.3 times 2.3 to the second power over 2 factorial, and so on and so on. Okay, so this is... Um, 2, 1, 3, and 0. Okay, okay, okay. Here, let me actually plug into my calculator. Okay, okay. This is kind of, uh, and I'm going to be using rounded numbers because I think that's going to be the easiest. You know how to do these two, right? Yeah, I have full faith. So this is equal to 2.0. 278 e to the negative 4. And let's just keep going. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, so this is equal to 4.4965e to the negative 4. This is equal to 3.325e to the negative 4. 0.8188e to the negative 4. Okay. Well, we're actually interested in the probability because it's the variance of x minus 1. So I'm going to call this new variable. I'm going to call it w. I don't know if this is going to be helpful for you guys, but for me, this is. I think this will demonstrate, the, demonstrate it a little bit better. So for w, it's equal to x minus y. So what is the value of x minus y here? 0 minus 3 is just 0 minus 3 equals 
0 minus 3 equals negative 3. So how about here? This is 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. What is this one here? 2 minus 1, which is just 1. This is 3 minus 0, which is just 3. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Let's just keep going. And we're trying to find, so replacing that variable, we have, we're trying to find variance of w given x plus y over is equal to 3. So what I think is the easiest is this is our probability function for the whole thing, right? But if it's limited to this four places, then we can actually um, take this these probability and divide it by the probability, the whole probability that x plus 1, x plus y is equal to 3. So this is our probability, just our regular probability function. Right? So now in order to find a probability given x plus y is equal to 3. I don't know if you like the, I don't know if I like this notation. Mm, yeah, I don't know. So probability of w Get, no, no, I think I'll just do <laughs> x plus y is equal to 3. Given x plus y equals 3. Okay, I hope you guys know what that means. So let's just figure out what the sum is first. Alright, alright, we got this, we got this. What is the sum? 2.0278. Okay, so this is equal to 10.66818 e to the negative 4. So given the probability given these x plus 1 equal 3, I just take the values we got earlier, right? And divide it by that value. Okay, 0 0.0278 divided by 10.6. 681 equals 0 0.1900. Okay, and let's just keep going right like this. Well, actually, it should have been 01 because it's 008. Okay, okay. This would be 0 0.4215, 0 0.3116, 0 0.0768. And as you notice, if you add all these up, it should add up to 1, as all probabilities should. Then we can actually just treat this like a regular probability, because we know what those prob um, the weighted conditions probability is. Oop, does that make sense? I don't know, I kind of mumble jumbled there. So now we're finding just variance of what w. Because this w now is, or, or this probability right here, is already a conditional so I, I'm just gonna stop writing W I mean the condition part but we already calculated the condition See? <laughs> you guys are like what is she talking about oh good, good question good question what am I talking about okay so back to that formula that we love so much so so much alrighty so expected value of W squared all right, I think we got that. Actually, yeah. Let me split this up into two. So, expected, expected value of w squared is equal to our w is right here. So it's either negative three squared times our probability 0 0.1901 plus negative one squared times 0 0.4215 plus one times one squared <laughs> technically. 0.421, wait, what am I doing? 0.3116 plus 3 squared times 0.0768. Let me type it into the calculator real quick. And this is equal to. Okay, this is equal to 3.1352. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So now expected value of W is basically the same thing. It's basically this, but not squared, right? Copy, oh, did I get it? 
Or I don't think I did it. Mm. Delete. Okay. Let's try again. So I'm going to copy this sucker. This copy? Yeah, this is copy. Okay. I swear it's going to get better in the future. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And then we can just take that little square out. Take the square out. Square out. And this is equal to. I hope you guys are doing it with me. This is equal to negative point four four nine eight. All right. Putting it back back into our variance formula. This is equal to three point one three five two minus negative point four four nine eight squared is equal to. Two point nine three two nine, which is our answer C. Okay. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.